All right, this is chapter one, pages seven through nine. Multiplication and division rules for determining the right answer with the right sig figs whenever we're doing measured values. Okay, first thing to remember about this is these are different rules than addition subtraction. Different entirely, so you have to have a different set of work um, uh, parameters before you move forward. Um, most important. So, first thing you need to be able to do is what we've already done, which is determine the number of sig figs in any measured number. Okay, you should remember how to do that. If not, look at the video for 1C. Number one. Second, you do the math, get the raw value. Third, your answer will have the same number of sig figs as the problem's values will with the smallest number of sig figs in those. It, it probably makes more sense to just do a bunch of problems. So let's do a couple. You ready? Okay. The point here, before we get started, is that you can know the number of sig figs in your answer before even doing the calculation whenever you're doing multiplication and division. But that is not something you can do in addition to subtraction. Alright, so let's take a look. 47.3 times negative 0.0012. Determine the number of sig figs for the value in each problem. 1, 2, 3 here. Start counting here. 1, 2. So, if we have a 3 times a 2, the answer is going to have 2. That's why I like to do it. That determines the number of sig figs in your answer. Punch that into your calculator. This is the raw value, negative 0.05676. So, what I like to do is I like to say these are the significant ones. And then you decide if that one rounds up. Does that last significant figure round up? It does, because that number is greater than 5. So, we've got negative 0.057. That number has two sig figs. That number is your last significant figure. And that number rounds it up. That's the right answer. Okay, let's take another look at a different problem. 0 0.003 divided by 94.30. I know how many sig figs are in my answer already. I already know. Because this number has one sig fig, right? Start counting here. This number has four. So the answer is going to be the least number, which is one. So now all I have to do is punch it into my calculator. Let's go punching. 0 0.003 divided by... 94.30 equals, all right, so yeah, 0 0.00003 0 0.00003813. How would you write that number to one significant figure? Which is the first significant digit? None of these are significant until we get here. So these are the significant. Does that round up? It does not. So what's the final answer? 0 0.00003. That's it. That's all we got to do. How many sig figs in this answer? I already know. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So the answer has 3. If you punch that into your calculator, that's what you're going to get. That's the raw calculator. Answer. Since that number has to be three sig figs, what do you have to write? 12.0. Sometimes you have to chop off numbers that aren't significant. Sometimes you have to add numbers that are significant. All right? So. 1C numbers 2 through 21. That's the exercise set that gets you practice. See uh, if you can do
do these extra problems, all right? Oh, let's say um, 0 0.0419 times 3.0 equals what? shouldn't take you very long to know that that number has two sig figs. And that the final answer should be 0 0.13. This has four sig figs, and this has three. The final answer will have three. So whatever 4739 divided by 871 is. Three sig figs, 5.44. You can see how easy this is. Just follow the directions. Know and make sure you keep the Rules separate between addition, subtraction, and multiplication and division. You should be good to go. Good luck.